Hey guys, from Lux here, back with our semi-blind playthrough of Morrowind. In another wrinkled shirt today, I left... I left the uh, shirts in the dryer by mistake, so I'm just like, ah, whatever. Uh, so last time we got through more of the... Uh, more of the ruins in the crater, or around the crater. Uh, Terenulal, Kagranax Library. Which, to me, doesn't quite make a ton of sense, all these books. You know, if this is Kagranax Library, it shouldn't have... I don't know when these books were written, but presumably... presumably third era, or second era, even. That, you know, the... the books are too modern. I mean, hell, even... even Vivex lessons, like, he wasn't... He didn't rise to power until after the war. You know, so the fact that they're here, that makes zero sense. Um, additionally, let me... Right, we're, we're over-encumbered. I'm going to read this book, and then I will... Probably run over there, grab all those books, and then teleport back. What is with the random equipping, unequipping stuff... I don't know. Uh, but I had another thought about if they ever decide to remake this game and they they can't get the blight diseases working. Because the thing is, you get here and it doesn't feel... It really doesn't feel that different. Um, it's just, oh, blight storms, okay. Kind of big whoop, sort of, right? Um, so the ash storm was supposed to give you diseases, but I almost feel like they should have implemented a, like, fatigue draining mechanic as well. You know, so that even though you're the Nervarine and you're immune to corpus and all diseases and stuff, the, the Blightstorm is still a threat. It's still, you know, we're in the end game area, but it doesn't feel like we are, you know what I mean? So that's, that's kind of my, my thoughts. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Like, you don't need all the... All the drama. The dramatic music or whatever. You don't need the... Do -do 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 you know, this is fine. It could be like the slow creep. But... I'm even fine with Keening being sort of... Like, getting it being sort of anticlimactic, but... You need some sort of threat. You know, like, you go get Keening and it's just a quiet moment, but to get there you had to fight all these super hard dudes or whatever, and then it's just... It's just there, and you just grab it, and you're like, okay, finally I have this. But it's not about the blade, it's about getting there. I don't know, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm overthinking this too much. I'm just saying what I feel and what I think needs to be the appropriate feeling. Uh, yeah, Cleaver of St. Films. Let's see. Okay, so let's read this book. Rest and meditate on what you've learned. Gain knowledge from the book. Block skill increased to 67. As the caravan of Nerevar now made for the capital of the Loth, Anon Alex Almalexia, there came... There came great rumblings from the Oblivion. A duke among scamps wandered into the House of Troubles, pausing before each scripture door to pay his respects, till finally he was met by the major domo of Merun's Dagon. And that's weird too, major domo. Isn't that like a Japanese thing? The Duke of Scamps said, I was summoned by Lord Dagon, master of the foul waters and fire, and I have brought the penance of my seven legions. Major Domo, whose head was a bubble of foul water and fire, bowed low so that the head of the Duke of Scamps became enclosed in his own. He saw the first pennant, which commanded a legion of grim warriors who could die at least twice. He saw the second pennant, which commanded a legion of winged bulls and the Emperor of Color that rode upon each. He saw the third pennant, which commanded a legion of inverted gorgons, great snakes whose scales were the faces of men. That's cool. Saw the fourth pennant, which commanded a legion of double-crossed lovers. 
He saw the fifth pennant, which commanded a legion of jumping wounds looking to hop onto a victim. He saw the sixth pennant, which commanded a legion of abridged planets. He saw the seventh pennant, which commanded a legion of armored winning moves. To which the major domo said, Duke Kuta, your legions, while mighty, are not enough to destroy Nirvar or the Triune Way. Look upon the Hortator and see the wisdom he takes to wife. And he looked into the middle world and saw, evaporating in a throng of thunder, of red war, and chitin men, where destinies take him further from our ways, and heat that we have wanted, and pray that they still remember, where destinies clothe the distance, clad in the golden east that we saw it now. Instead of the war and repair of the oblivious fracture, a curse on the Hortator, and two more on his hands, and the Duke of Scamps saw the palms of the Hortator, upon which the egg had written these words of power, Gartok pad home, Gartok pad home, ending the words is Alm Sivi. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a book over there still, too. Well... That's okay, let's drink some Sujama. Okay, Blasphemous Revenants, we'll take it. Then we gotta run over here. We gotta take... Ah, right. Alchemy knowledge increased. Another lesson of Vivek. Now Vivek felt that he had taught the Hortator as much as he could before the war with the Dwemer came. 18, so we're halfway through. The warrior poet decided he had to begin his Book of Hours at that point, because the world was about to bend with its age. Vivek entered the Morning Hold and announced to Iam that he was going to fight nine monsters that had escaped the Muatra. I will return, he said, to deal the last blow to the Grand Architect of the Dwemer. Iam said, out of nine you will find only eight, though they be mighty. Blast is already destroyed by your decision to create the Book of Hours. Vivek understood that Ayem meant himself. Why, she asked, are you in doubt? Vivek knew that his doubt made him the sword of the Triune, and so he did not feel shame or fear. Instead, he explained these, or he explained, and these are the words. Can a member of the Invisible Gate become so archaic that its successor is not so much an improvement of the exact model, but rather a related model of that is just needed more because of the currency of the world's condition. As the mother, you do not have to worry unless things in the future are so strange that even Set cannot understand. Neither does the executioner or the fool, but I am neither. These ideals are not going to change in nature, even though they may change in representation. But even in the West, the Rainmaker vanishes. No one needs him anymore. Can one oust the model not because... The model is set according to an ideal, but because it is tied to an ever-changing, unconscious mortal agenda? This is what was said to I am when Vivek was whole. The wise shall not mistake this. Good to know. <laughs> this is why you were born of a Necheman's wife and destined to merge with the simulacrum of your mother, gilded and blended in all the arts of the star-wounded East, underwater and in fire and in metal and in ash, six times the wise, to become the union of male and female, the magic hermaphrodite, the martial axiom, the sex death lang of language and unique in all the middle world. Vivek knew then why he would record his book of hours. This sermon is forbidden. In all this world and others, I, I would like to know if this is the only book in the game of this sermon, because that would be fantastic if so, but... In this world and others, 18 less 1, the victor, is the magical disc, hurled to reach heaven by violence. This sermon is untrue. The ending of the world is Alm Sivi. Okay. Uh, darkest darkness. We have to take all the books still. Jesus Christ, it is dark. We have an ash statue. House of Troubles, Vivek and Nafala. I need to check out that, um, whoa, what is this?
Okay, not till the very evening they came, answered he, and then told of his dealings with... Wait, hang on, let me let me close this up. What, legendary Scourge? Not till the very evening they came, answered he, and then told of his dealings with Mehrun's Dagon's thralls, saying that Mekhen would find it easier to whistle on the wind's tracks and go on a fool's errand than to fight his toads. Then said Mekhen, now see to thy safety henceforward, and stick to thy parts and thy pride, or this mallet of mine, Malakath Scourge, will meet with thine ear of a surety, for as quick as I can cry equality, though eight arms thou couldst boast of, such bumps thou shalt comb on thy brain pan, thou, thou that breakest the house of the dead. So presumably, Malakath Scourge, you can... Like, I've never heard of that one, but I assume you can get it in this, maybe? The Mace Scourge, Blessed of Malakath, Makan's legendary weapon. Oh, I did get in, I think it was Oblivion, you get one... You get some weapon because you have to get an innocent person to kill you. And you have to trust that, I think it's Malakath, will revive you once you're dead. And if you do, you get the mace, which maybe is this, right? Blessed of Malakath, legendary weapon forged from sacred ebony in the fountains of fickle dire, has ever been the bane of the dark kin, and many a black spirit has been hurled back into oblivion with a single blow of this bold defender of the friendless. Okay. Scourge now hangs within the armory of Battle Spire, ready to take up in the name of the Emperor against the Daedric Lords. It doesn't... Okay. Mace Scourge. Hmm. Okay. And we didn't get a quest from this, right? I have to ask because I don't think... I've never had one get added like that, but... In Oblivion, you would just hear people talk and it would get added to your quest log, which was really cool, actually. All right, uh, a less rude song. Another Legions of the Dead, Lives of the Saints. Who next? Fire and Faith, is that everything? No, it's not. Your journal's been updated. Okay. Well. Private papers of Galar, Rothari, Boyant, Armager. Okay, so someone was here and using these. I mean, maybe they took over Kagernak's library before Dagoth or resurrected himself or whatever. Right, they said something about they were driven out or, or whatever. Handwritten manuscripts bound as folios excerpts. Outnumbered and isolated, I yielded to my foe. The creature dressed like a gentleman, and I hoped for honorable treatment. Instead, I found myself a feast for a blood-drinking monster. Shamed by my corruption and despairing of my own welfare, I passively acquiesced in my gradual integration into the, affla into the affairs of Clan Onde. <coughs> I made no human my prey, only beasts, and kept myself apart from the other clan kin. Is he a werewolf? Nonetheless, I abandoned hope and lived like a beast. I wonder if this is part of the, um, Blood Moon DLC or something. Drawn by intimations of my former life, I visited my former post at Bal-Ur, hoping perhaps to atone in some of my crimes. Also, just hang on. Bal-Ur, I know, is now a Daedric shrine, but they did say they used to, you know, the Centurions and, or not Centurions. Ordinators. They controlled the whole area, but then they lost, I guess, so many people that now they cannot keep the Jadric ruins clear and, and people are... Why does this shirt look like that? It's so strange. Um, they can't keep the ruins clear of, of Daedra worshippers anymore, so it's kind of interesting, right? Hoping perhaps to atone in some for my crimes or preying upon its monsters or perishing under their attacks, it is there that by chance I made petition to the Lord of Troubles, Molag Ball. Maybe he's a vampire. 
At an altar deep in the caverns beneath the pilgrim shrine, I was surprised and thrilled and terrified when Molag Ball or some aspect of or agent of that Daedra Lord offered me a chance to cure myself of vampirism. Okay. In return for a favor. However, with no hope for my soul or spirit unless I might be cured, I undertook his request. Or his quest. Rathari sought and obtained a cursed soul gem of mysterious nature from a deep cavern on the northern slopes of Dagathur, delivering it to Molag Bal's shrine in Bal Ur. I placed the gem within the basin before the altar and instantly experienced a blinding of pain and terror I cannot express in words, except that it seemed afterward that I had been asleep and dreaming that I was being sliced by thousands of tiny knives from my bowels inside and out. I woke before the altar and gazed in the reflection of my own sword blade at my own face, at my own face, no longer a blood-seeking beast of teeth and empty eyes. Maybe... Because I know you can get cursed with vampirism and you have to maybe cure yourself. I found some papers by a boy in Armager, Galarothari. In them, he gives hints as to how vampirism may be cured, suggests the cure may be obtained with the help of a Daedra Prince, perhaps Molag Ball. Cure for vampirism. Well, I can no longer be afflicted by vampirism, I don't think. So that is good to know. And then of course we have, yeah, the Vampires of Ardenfell on Oblivion. The Pig Children. Journal's been updated. Why? I've read the Pilgrim's Path and marked the location of each shrine on my map. But I'd opened it before. I've opened it multiple times. I've done all those things. Why did that not get added? Maybe the one they give you doesn't do that? The real... Man, it feels like I've been here for so long. A true noble's code, that's interesting. Okay, is this all the books? I think so. Let us... Let's do Alm Civi Intervention. We've put our mark. We'll go back to Aldrun. I don't... Oh, crap. I'm even over-encumbered with this. I might be able to drop some stuff, but... Christ. <laughs> yeah. Um... Well, this is interesting. Look at all those books. Look at them all. Alright, uh... Oh, that's a spell. Uh, I mean, that's fine. Okay, we're in Aldrun. My thought is get to the Mage's Guild. So I can teleport to Balmora. Ah, uh, okay, that's the Sujama wearing off. Okay, we travel to Balmora. Okay. Nope, not training. Barter. First. 
another couple things of Sujama. Oh yeah, let's give up the ebony. All the rat meat. The Daedra hearts. The... Well, raw glass is two pounds. But... What potions do I have? I have a lot, a lot, a lot. These all restore health, probably not. Nope, fortify health, fortify agility, disease resistance, okay. That helps, every little bit helps, every little bit helps. Anything else I can buy? Maybe I could sell the raw glass and purchase I don't know. Okay, 796, that's something. Um I was going to say get to the bookseller, that might help. It will, it certainly will help. Okay, seller max. Okay, my thought is, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out there. My thought is use Almsivia Intervention to teleport to the temple and then run to the bookseller. Run. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. It would help if I could drop off that axe as well, but for now, the books will have to do. There's wizards, and you add, and you add. Arcturian heresy. Awesome. See, the, the cheaper these books are, the better, because it means the more I can get rid of. Like, the legendary scourge I'll hold on to. Uh, Pilgrim's Path, get rid of that. Oh, yeah. And this is funny, too. Real Berenzia. Uh, presumably, they have such a low value. 20, because... Because they're so common. Wild Elves. Fridays of Faith. Vivek and Mephala. Vampires of Ardenfell, sure. Okay... Lessons of Vivek, no. Less rude song, Adra Daedra. Kana restored, sure. That might be as much as I could do. What about Book of... Okay, well. Okay, that's about right then. We're down to 616. That's something. Awesome. So then my thought is... To the house. Cool. We're gonna have to drop off all these books also, which is fine. So this is good. All right. Cleaver of St. Felms. Bam. Two sets of glass greaves, mole crab helm. All right, all the books. That still, still makes me kind of mad. Kagranex plan book, yeah, we're gonna. We'll have to pay attention so we don't maybe sell that one by mistake. Parchment with scrawlings. I don't remember the deal. <coughs> Sarioni sermons. That's the other thing, too. It's like, we actually met Sarioni. That's really cool. I never thought about that. I know it sounds stupid, but maybe... 
I could see... I knew a lot of people would hate it, but I could... I would almost want more... Like, temple quests where... They're just testing your knowledge. You know. Hey, go find yourself a copy of this book. Study it. Come back. When you're ready, I'm gonna ask you questions to make sure you understand it. And you have to answer. Kind of like the riddle thing, right? More like that, but that's like a lot of the temple quests. You know, pilgrimage and prayer. You know, go to the shrine, learn the, the history or whatever. You know, Mage's Guild 2. Alright, let's see if we can sell some of this stuff. Probably not the... Yeah, probably not the Greaves. That's too much. Uh, probably not that. The Mole Crab Helm, though, maybe. Anything I could sell? I'm accumulating all this stuff, and I assume, like, the Othril Ring. You know, I'm assuming that's... Could have picked up the Ash Statue, but... Uh, what was it? Oh, yes. Okay, well... Note from Bacharach. Yep, okay. Parchment with Scrawlings. Maybe I found that in Kogarun. Is that the name? Oh, yeah, and then, uh... Delicious corpus meat. <laughs> I could just, I could just, uh, that's don't. I could just imagine, because uh, what is it? That one Telvani wizard, the Telfir dude. He has that. Should I, should I put these away? I don't know if I need them. I just don't know if I want to carry them because that's an extra, you know, fifteen pounds. We'll hold on. We'll hold on to them. Oh, and the sixth house amulets, yeah. We could sell one of them, I think. But yeah, can you just imagine, like, stealing all this... All those things and just... They're like, what are you doing with it? And you're like... Argh. Just... They're like, what? They'd probably kill you on the spot. Oh, gold zero. No, no, no. Cancel then. Yeah, just... Isn't that what they said? They spent time... Well, I don't think they said eating it. They just said cutting off pieces of their own flesh. Which is pretty metal. Okay, Umbra... Yeah. See, look at that. Soul Trap for 120 seconds. That's huge. Even these glass swords, glass poison swords, like, the poison enchantment is not great, but the... The glass sword itself is so valuable, it just makes things, you know, bone weave gauntlet, bone dancer gauntlet. Where the hell did I get those? They're awesome, but yeah. I sell, I could probably sell the ebony left bracer. To, uh, what's his face? To Wayne. <laughs> well, I find myself just, in pleasant company. Please just shows. Okay. Eighteen fifty. Can you purchase the bracer? Ah. Uh, I'm gonna sell you the mole helm. Two. I really want to know how enchantable those things are because I think I read somewhere Telvani Helms are pretty pretty awesome as far as enchanting goes, but Dude, I don't even know if it's worth seven What did I do? I want more ah, I want more money than you're capable of giving me at this moment, so you seem to be doing all right. Right, we have to rest also. 
we have to level. Um, let us do that. Have we saved? We have not saved this time yet. Okay. But yeah, I was, I have been thinking about that. Just, just kind of how we're, we're basically at the end and it, it does feel like everything's wrapping up, but rest until healed. That's fine. Oh, come on, dude. Wow, he's right there this time. That's right. Still says journal updated, which is strange, but yes, you only sleep an hour. That's fine, though. Agility. Right on. Speed. Ah, okay. And luck. Right, so I need... No, speed is from the short blade. Okay, and agility would be like your block and light and medium ar or light armor. And the no, even the athletics was speed. So that's good. This works. All this works. Level 32, that's crazy. I could get more speed, but I'm just like, nah, we'll keep using the short blade. You know. The pleasure is all. Well Alright, so I think we're good. Let's how are we doing? 420. Okay, let's recall. Let's go back to our mark. And then, uh... Because we were here. We've done the three corners. We just need Veminol. And we have two... Things of Sujama. Alright. Anything... Where's my ring? Okay, just to make sure... Right, the ash statue if you want it. Which I don't. There's maybe the candles. Alright. Uh, Alright, well... Okay. All right, back out. Hopefully not... Yeah, I was gonna say, hopefully not too much time has passed. Should we go around this way? Maybe so. But yeah, like I was saying, I've... So this, I mean, it's... You know, I like it. I like the look of it, but it doesn't feel... It feels... It doesn't feel like anything. That's... That's the problem. And if the Ash Storm would... Deplete... You know, deplete your stamina as you were out in it... You could... You could counter that, sure. You could... Well... Yeah, that's... Hmm. I was gonna say, I guess you could make a... An enchanted thing that... Really? What are we fighting now? Oh, of course. You, yeah, I guess that's the problem. You could just make something that counteracts the stamina drain. Okay, so it is... Well, it's a little bit farther. So I guess I don't know... What the real answer is, because... I would still want this place to... Well, that's... Presumably that's why they did the level scaling, right? Because you're like, well... You know, you may be immune to the diseases from the blight, but then the monsters... And there are a lot of monsters in here. Then the monsters are the threat, and... I don't know. It, it's hard. How do you... Is it straight east? Yeah, should we... Oh, 
Oh, yes. The Daedric Ruins. Kogarun Charma's Breath. Right. Yes, Kogarun led under... It had a tunnel that led under the ghost fence. Okay. Well, I guess we could just pull out the boots. Ah, uh, there. See, this is why... This is why I have all the stuff. I have all the ring and, and everything. Oh, it's behind... I mean, yeah. What are we getting attacked by this time? This guy? You know, that's the other thing. If I have Corpus, shouldn't I be constantly regenerating? Well, I guess it's not to that point. Okay, so the ghost fence is right there. Well, let's, uh... I mean, we'll get there. What's up, dude? Short blade skill increased. What am I getting? Oh, of course. That was weird, though. Was he hurting himself with his spells? Because I saw him get shocked by lightning, and then when I hit him, all of his, like, half of his health was already gone. I assume this is the way... It's east, right? Oh, it's really close, actually. Oh, there it is. Well, I assume, yeah. It says Veminol on my map. He seemed really surprised that I just walked up and started shanking him in the gut. think you were one of those. For some reason, I thought he was an ash zombie. Not an ash slave. And then an ash ghoul. Alright, where... Hmm. Straight ahead, it says. Maybe that? Veminol Outer Fortress. That's fair. This is pretty steep. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm going to put on the Night Eye thing. Although, I guess I could use... I think I have that scroll, right? There's a scroll of Night Eye that I've got. Um, which will probably just want to... Scroll of... Is it the glowing eye? Yeah. 
12 to 40 points for 120 seconds. Okay. Let me just save real fast. Because... Yep, we're gonna use it and then we're gonna have to... Oh, man. You got me. Yes, you did. I really didn't expect um, those dudes to be running around. Now I know I have to be... Alright, well, there's one of you. Didn't hurt. Skeldal corpse. Iron long sword. Well, yeah, because it's from an adventure, not from. Oh, that's. Hmm. Chop, chop, chop. Dagoth Garrel. Okay, well, yep, we'll run around here in a second. I just want to kind of peek at everything. He's like, ah, oh, praise Vivek. I mean, I, I know. It's not praise Vivek, it's praise Dagoth. Praise Ur, I suppose. Yeah, that took way too long for you to die. More books, ash statue. Viminal Hall of Torque. Oh, uh, we're getting attacked by something else too, I think. Maybe not, maybe just by that, okay. Dagoth Felmus. something. Hello. Oh, crap. You opened the door. Don't do that. Oh, the night eye wore off. Well, that happens. Dramora Lord. Ah, oh, crap. I don't have one of those, do I? Daedric Wakazashi. Alright, that's fair. I'll take it now. Oh, I do have another. I'm sure I have another one of those things. It's almost time to stop. Okay. Yeah, I will say when you've gotten used to it, it is really hard to see. You've gotten used to the night eye. <sighs> it's kind of funny me running around like this. Reminds me of... What is it? The meme of... Was that the only one? Scroll of... Well, Bright Ball. We could certainly try this. It's probably crap, but we could try it. Hmm. All the barriers, Hop Toad, Spell Trap. No, I think that might have been the only one. That's... Well... 
It happens. Okay, let's uh, give it a go. See how bad this is. Yeah, that's... It's like I am the light source. That's kind of funny. Look how dark it is. You think they see me? Oh, it's below us. Right, so let's run. This is honestly kind of funny. Oh. It's... It, it does make me laugh. It's like I put Dagoth Solar, yeah. Right, this is probably just... This is incredible. Wait, what is that? Belda the Undying? Blood Feet Shield. Okay, well. Silver War Axe. Okay, and then whatever is in the middle, we'll fight that as well. This dude, yeah, of course. Dagoth Vemin. Stunlock for the win. There. Oh, he's got Sunder on him. See, that's kind of what I expected from Keening. But Keening, they're just like, ah, oh, whatever. It is a blunt weapon, one-handed, fortify attack, strength, drain, fatigue. Huh. Amulet of heart, heal, fortify strength, fortify hand-to-hand, -hand, shield, and levitate. And then ash salts, okay. Weight is 40. Ah, oh, it's gonna put me over my weight limit. But how much? Journal updated. 25. Okay. In Citadel Veminol, I, I discovered the artifact Hammer Sunder, one of the enchanted tools created by the Dwemer craft lord, Kagernak. I'd like to clear this out, though, first. You know what I mean? I don't want to... don't want to, um... Oh, okay. Yeah. You're over-encumbered. Awesome. Uh, any treasures or anything? I see probably a bunch of ash statues. But anything on here? Doesn't look like it now. Oh, nope. Not Dagoth. The door... This has been fun, the light spell. Okay, so that dude's toast. I don't... Yeah, I don't think we need anything down here. I think it was just that. We already looted all the bodies. Um, right. Yeah, it's, it's back through here. And... Right. Heavy Dwemer desk. Sure, we'll take it. Ornate Dwemer chest. Coins and bowl. Well, hello. Grandmaster's Alembic. We gotta take that. More books. I'm not super enthused about all the books. Shadow. Special Flora. Ruins. Heavy chest. You're really close. Ebony, God.
Like, Ebony's great, but it's freaking... Oh, uh, hello. Grandmaster's Calcinator. Jesus. All this... I need to put a mark right here. Okay. Night Eye or Light Spell is gone. Let's put on my... My thing at the moment. Where is it? Ornate Dwemer chest with a bunch of arrows, which... That's kind of the problem. You'll be overweight. What I need to do is basically... I probably need to come back, if I'm being honest. The fact that I can move now... Scrap metal. Yeah, I need to... I need to come back. I need to drop off all these house amulets. I need to drop off these, the heart-related stuff, even though... Yeah. They might be incredibly important against Dagoth Ur, assuming we actually have to fight him. I don't know how that works. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's do... Problem is I can't really sell a whole lot. I picked up the Wakazashi, you know. I need to get back to Balmora. What is the best way to do that? Mage's Guild, maybe. Does this chick have, uh, does she have money again? Yes, she does. How much can I sell? Okay. Well, yeah. So I won't be able to sell all of them to her, but... 818. I can sell 40. Every little bit helps. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Travel to Belmora. Over encumbered now, that was. Amulet of Elm Civi. Bam. This is very funny. It's just, <laughs> just, just the absurdity. I'm gonna assume I don't need the amulets, because they said all I really needed was the Sunder and Keening. So, right, so the Wakazashi, that can go there. Oh yeah, the extra, that shield. Okay, I have Sunder, I have Keening, I have Wraithguard. Let's drop off these. And what are these supposed to be? Are they ash statues or something as well? The different amulets? Just to make sure I didn't have a Wakazashi, right? No, no, that was the first one. Kind of feel proud. Kind of feel a little proud about that. 456, why do I have... Oh, well, yeah, okay. Because that's 40 freaking pounds. I have all that extra stuff, but the good news is that most of that is cleared out now. Oh, I should see if I could sell the Alembic to... Greetings, Nord. What can I do? To her. Good, you have 3,000. Seventeen thirty-eight. that's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can get 2,000. Awesome. Welcome. If you wish to. All right. Next. 
Because my goal is to basically finish this little area now. I could... I mean, I suppose I could rest so that I could sell some of this stuff and, well, that's pretty much it, honestly. I wonder if you keep sunding, Sunder and Keening. I imagine you'd keep them going forward because once you beat the game, it doesn't save. It's just like you save before you go in there. I would, I would imagine. Uh, okay, let's do... Well, let's recall first. First we save. Okay, because there's still stuff to get. <sighs> I'll take the ebony. Right, don't need the axe. Bowl. Books. Calcinator. Still no Grandmaster Retort. I found multiple Calcinators, multiple Alembics, multiple... You know... Right, the arrows. Ah, oh, crap, I'm gonna... Yeah. Right, all this... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so... Bogged down with just garbage. All right. Well, scrap metal. See, yeah. Dwarven short sword. That might be it, actually. Let's run around. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. No, not this one. S yes, this one. Okay. Or any chest. Yeah, but that's got a Dwemer or whatever. Paper. Single coin. Dwemer shield. Dwarven spear. See, sometimes it says Dwarven spear. Sometimes it says Dwemer stuff. All right, I think I think that's it actually. I did check out the middle. Yeah, I mean unless you want some of the scrap metal or whatever. Um All right, so let us same as before, I suppose. Balmora. It's sell. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, I find myself in pleasant company. Please share your thoughts. Awesome, it worked. Well, I find myself in pleasant company. Please share. Your <sighs> okay. The Ebony, the Glass, the Daedra Hearts, uh, that, all the Ash Salts, all the Bone Meal. Man, we're at 746 already. Okay, a bunch of the Racer Plumes. I mean, it helps. Warmly uh greeted, friend. Welcome. 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 Oh, I did pick up some potions, I think. I am honored. Truly. How may I help you? What are these potions I picked up? Potion of Shadow. Okay. Detect creatures. Fire resist. Spoiled slow fall. Fortify speed. Okay. Uh. Go 
you want to buy some dwarven coins? I also have some soul gems that I will not sell you. Just in case. Greetings and salutations. You flatter me with And I do have books. A couple books. Was that it? Was there more? Uh no. I mean that's She's like I have too many books. You can't sell me all these books. It's too much. Uh, no. Sell the other calcinator or whatever. Yep, there you go. Bam. Two thousand. Let's try. Awesome. Welcome. I'm glad money doesn't weigh anything, because that would be, you know. All right, where was the other, yeah, parchment with scrawlings. All right, how we, yeah. Oh, right, 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 the arrows. That's one ugly outfit. Thank you. I'm just glad I'm not wearing robes over the top of it. Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Okay. Oh, ebony arrows. Iron, iron bolt, silver bolt. Okay, what do we got? 150? That works for me. 440 out of 500. Yeah, I mean, you know. I need a pack mule. Kind of ridiculous, honestly, but what did I do to deserve? It? But there you go. You know what I mean. All right. Um. I guess that is. I suppose we could do recall. Recall back there. Probably be faster. Recall to here and then just fly or whatever. But we're going to stop for today. That is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. As always, guys, questions, comments, concerns, good, better, and different. Let me hear them. I do try and read all of them. I do try and respond to all of them as well. What is your guys' unique pause moment for today? Uh, for me, I'm going to say... I guess uh, I guess my walk. I switched routes, so I went to a different, different place this morning. It was... It was fine. Busy. You know, the, uh, normally I walk in the fire lane and that's really quiet and kind of nice, but this time I went kind of down a street and it was surprisingly busy for 5 a.m. I was, I was a little surprised, but, um, that's how it is. That's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.